What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmas Wrestling Recap. Let's get right into a very entertaining episode of Friday Night SmackDown that saw a surprising new champion. What did you think of the show, Matthew? Real good show, dude. Honestly, this is probably, I think, what we needed come SummerSlam. You know what I mean? Absolutely. They needed to really talk about what was going on. Theory, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing with him, but uh, let's kick it off. Kicking off the show, actually, we had a random matchup, right? So I wasn't actually expecting this at all, but it's continuing. I guess you could say the the trio's rivalry, right? So Charlotte Flair and Asuka, one-on-one singles match. So it actually was, it was a decent match. And the way that this match culminated, it wasn't horrible, but uh, it was a SmackDown. It's not a pay-per-view. They're not going to give us... You know, they're 100%. I just know it, right? And that's exactly what happened. You know, especially what happened at SummerSlam, right? Io Sky becoming the women's champion. It concluded yeah. with Io Sky, Dakota Kai, and Bailey hitting the ring, attacking both competitors. I just want to point out, I really think that dominance with damage control is what they need so they've been lacking a little bit but uh i think we're gonna see uh, this rivalry continue with also hopefully bianca belair we didn't see her tonight but charlotte and asuka i agree with you 100 percent. damage control finally being booked at the way they should being that dominant women's faction that we all wanted to see and a new women's champion on smackdown eo sky man love to see it i think so no contest for that one another Random matchup, impromptu, but this one was great, right? Karrion Cross and AJ Styles, just matchup after matchup. I'll take it. Nothing really backstage yet, but uh, we'll get there. Really good match. It was hard hitting. Both Styles and Cross, I think they they really showed who they are, right? And how Cross can hang with the big guys. Styles defeated Cross. This was a really nice matchup. I think it was Scarlet and uh, Mitchum. Oh, just, I hate that. Mia Yim behind uh, both of them. In, what am I trying to say? Yeah, getting into it ringside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, tongue twist here. I, I, I can't speak. I'm freaking parched. All right. <laughs> Let's go forward, right? So for this segment, I want to talk about randomly. We got something after. I think it was after before commercial break. Edge returning to WWE next Friday. Not this Friday. Next Friday in his hometown, the 25th years of Edge celebration, basically, he comes out. Nobody expected this. He came out to SmackDown tonight and said, I'm supposed to be on SmackDown next week. That's when I was advertised, but I'm going to be here tonight because we're still in Canada. And I am going to take a match, and my opponent is going to be Sheamus, and that's going to happen next week. Really good match. Those two kind of just banged it off. Sheamus came out. And what a promo by both of them. Definitely an A-plus there. I, I can't wait for SmackDown. Oh, me neither, man. Any night that we get to rate our superstar back is a match after my own heart. And uh, Sheamus and Edge, what does uh, Sheamus say? Bangers after bangers after bangers. Bang- certainly- bangers after bangers. I think we can certainly agree with that. Next segment. Out with good shit. Back in with some more good shit. L.A. Night. Yeah. Ah, I'm waiting for that, baby. Top dollar on Michael Cole was having it with this. What a shite show that was, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, uh, hey, big double you for LA Knight. Hit him with, I think, uh, what is it called? A, a blunt force trauma. I think that's what, what what his finisher or whatever it is. I don't even know yet. Poor Top Dollar. This catch with whatever's going with Top Dollar, it better wipe off the screen quickly because he just ain't looking too good, man. Yeah, you know what? Michael Cole was having a good time with it. Can we just talk about real quick? Michael Cole was not having it with uh, just uh, oh, yeah. Patrick, man. And he was he looked like he was just not about it. But, you know, what? it was a good overall show. It just kept going into more and more action. And we had a title matchup next, all right? LA Knight, he's hot. Now we go to a hot title matchup. It's actually... Austin Theory versus Rey Mysterio. Now, what happened is Santos Escobar was supposedly alleged to face him on SmackDown, but Theory actually attacked him backstage, not once. And then when he came down for the match, he was cleared. 
Pierce didn't really want him to go down, but whatever theory looks like a dick. Santos comes out for the match. Theory attacks him mid match. Theory, uh, he really has it out for for Santos. And I think why they did this is Santos didn't go to the ring because he was too hurt. Rey Mysterio runs in the ring, has the match. Good match. Not gonna lie, they they have some good chemistry. Theory and Ray. Ray wins the championship. Theory's reign of terror is over, as people say. I didn't think it was atrocious. They're just not giving him either good enough stuff to work with, or he just can't elevate. Absolutely, but this new title reign for Rey Mysterio, that came out of nowhere, right? Yep. I mean, I did not see that coming. Way to go, Rey Mysterio. I love seeing him get one last title run in his latter years in his career. And you know what? You say one last. This is, I think, his go-home for this company. I think this is where it, it winds down. Him winning the title unexpectedly like that. I'm I here it's, for I it. I think it's his time, but I'm here for it. Hell of a career. Main event time. This was important. This showed basically the future of this, not just family bloodline, but the storyline. Is it going to keep us fans involved? It did. We had about 25 minutes left of television time. Roman Reigns comes out, basically explains everything that happened. Jimmy attacking Jay through their match. Jimmy comes out, says some shit, right? And then Jay comes out. Jay says, why did you do it? Jimmy said, because I love you. And he doesn't want to turn into a corrupted asshole like Roman Reigns. And the crowd went crazy. Oh, man. Crowd so went crazy. Good. So Jay good. turned his back on Jimmy. Jimmy attacks Roman, who's in the ring. Solo attacks Jimmy after. And then Jimmy actually attacks both men and ends it with a spear to Roman Reigns. Jay is up the ramp. Solo's out. Roman speared. Good way to end this show. Jay, who's in the ring, said he's done with WWE. And he's out of the bloodline. Just pure That's how the show ends. Pure and utter chaos from the bloodline and the show. I love it. This storyline, it's been great, but we need to see this culmination come sooner rather than later. And the disruption and dismay of the bloodline is certainly mm -hmm. happening. I thought tonight was a pretty good show. Had some really good wrestling and an unexpected champion in Rey Mysterio, but I'm here for it. Let us know what you guys thought about the show. Always like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you Tuesday for a Monday Night Raw recap. Until then. Peace out. This has been Cosmet. Thanks for watching.